Hello everyone, it's my last weekly. What I'm seeing on the blog of Project Manga is just amazing. Uh, to see the project is in full swing and me, I'm done with my pun, reasonably done at least. I'll still be hanging around IOC, fixing whatever is needed, posting some stuff on the blog and doing all the tests in cycles that I really didn't have the time to do properly before. The main thing I could still do as actual work on the assets is something like if blended box mapping gets hard coded added into cycles as one node and we can get those 50 nodes we are using inside a group right now to one i can do that uh, myself uh, editing the material library i can do that quickly and i'd be happy to do it but also i know it's time for andy and everyone working on the scenes to have stuff locked as in not changing continuously even slightly or breaking because of an update so I won't touch the files on SVN without asking or being asked to fix something. This week uh, I did some work on the old lady's house and on the boat, scientist boat, uh, just adding some a new gribble kit of uh, metal uh, corrugated planks uh, to fix a bit the add some detail to the hull um, broken part and. But mostly I worked on the background for that scene. Uh, there were some long broken things in this facade and I've added back the window frames and tweaked some stuff. But uh, still I think uh, the best background for this scene is the boat itself, if, if it's in camera correctly. But also this computer back there can just be moved or rotated and it's way more interesting than the facade to have as background of the scientists. Another thing, I've worked on the packing of the UV um, for the Gribble kits and this was the old one, um, Auto V, terrible, like 50% of the space unused. New one is uh, manual uh, seams and unwrap and um, really useful packing, object packing script uh, that Campbell did last week. and. Now this is 2K texture, could be used 1K, but 2K is still good for a uh, close-up. What's important is that this and many other textures in the dome are grayscale, but cycle right now is not making any difference and loading everything as RGB. So I, I've mentioned it to Breck, but you decide uh, if uh, uh, you have other priorities or uh, well, maybe it's fine as it is, but if you want to reduce the memory usage for the DOM in video memory, texture memory, uh, without losing any quality, uh, that would do quite a difference. Then um, I've worked a bit on the east and west facades, these facades to balance the colors and, and everything else. I've done been doing these renders here uh, because of for the last weeks I've been working with uh, ambient occlusion renders and I wasn't seeing the glossy channel anymore anywhere and I needed to check if it was still there and uh, it is, it's basically working. And I worked a bit on the ground. Uh, I've removed a lot of debris and gribble pieces in areas that were hidden or not useful. Uh, so it's now a good base. And then I guess, of course, uh, on a per shot basis where you need to put more uh, more stuff to fill up the scene that has to be done with the exact camera. And yeah, so for uh, like placing this more, uh, this additional debris or moving stuff around, uh, I think Andy knows about everything needed about the dome and where to find stuff. Ian has been using the gribbles without problems, but still I'd like to do a very, f mm, a few very quick uh, videos about asset organization for this environment, where stuff is and how it is named, and they should be interesting for the blog too. And that's it. Uh, I'll see you around on IRC, and of course at the premiere. Uh, best of luck to everyone. And I can imagine how it's getting intense in the studio, that's a lot to do, but I'm really sure Mango will turn out really awesome.